cut it into a round bottom flask. A small magnetic stirring bar was placed into the round bottom flask. The stopper was then placed into the flask, and then a syringe was then placed into the stopper. This is to vent any gas that might build up during the reaction. 0.25 grams of magnesium turnings were then weighed out and placed inside the round bottom flask. Once the magnesium turnings have been placed inside the round bottom flask, add a few iodine crystals into the reaction and watch the colour change as the reaction starts. Lower the reaction onto the stirring plate, but very carefully start the stirring, but notice that the stirring bar is moving ever so gently. The slow stirring is very important to initiate the reaction. Again, note the colour change of the reaction. The reaction can take up to 5 minutes to start, and it is important to observe the reaction while it is taking place. You will feel the flask get warm once the reaction has started. You will also notice a small amount of precipitate. Once the precipitate starts forming quickly, the solution will go clear. Place the solution on an ice bath and continue stirring. Crush up some dry ice pellets and place the dry ice into a beaker. Once the solution is cool, remove the ice bath and lower the round bottom flask onto the stirring plate. Slowly add the dry ice into the solution. You will notice the formation of a gas. This is the CO2 reacting with the benzene to form the benzoic acid. Keep on adding the dry ice until no more CO2 is reacting with the benzene. This is how you know your reaction is complete. And thanks again for watching.